viewers to another episode on SUG12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the 2019 August Science Paper 1. So we are now looking at section C where you are expected to answer two questions out of three questions and each question carries 10 marks which makes it 20 marks out of 85. Let us look at question C1. The table below shows the thinking distance for various speeds for a car driver to react and apply brakes before stopping. So we have thinking distance in meters, then speed in kilometers. So uh, you, not, you notice that thinking distance ranges from 0 all the way to 15, then speed in kilometers per hour from 0 to 80. Question A, Loma number 1, on a graph paper, draw a graph of thinking distance against speed. So this against speed. Then Loma number 2, use a graph to determine the thinking distance for the driver at 32 kilometers per hour. So the first one, this one is basically the y-axis, then this is the x-axis. So we have basically y, then x. So we need to understand uh, the spread of the units, this, and also the spread of uh, these units. So once we understand the minimum to the ice, then we will know how we are going to uh, draw the uh, graph. So we know that the minimum is 0, then the maximum is uh, 15. Then we can, once we understand that, we, we can transfer that information to the graph easily. So let us move to the graph paper. So when you look at the graph paper on your right hand side, you see that the graph paper has been labeled uh, clearly. So what is critical for you to understand from this graph paper is make sure that basically always that the units are scaled. So they are spread equally. So since we have eight boxes here uh, on the uh, x-axis and the highest value here is 80 and the minimum is uh, 0. So it's basically to be 80 minus 0 over 8. So we end up with 80 divided by 8 which is basically 10 units. So we are going to spread this uh, 10, 10. So that's why we are moving from 10 to 20, 30 like that. So that you see equally spaced. Then similarly we do the same for uh, the uh, thinking distance. So thinking distance you notice that the highest is 15. So what we can do is uh, when you put it up to 16 we notice that we are able to spread it uh, in the interval of uh, two, two, from 0 to 2, then to 4, then to 6 all the way up to 16 as you can see from here. In this case uh, it allows us to draw the graph properly without distorting it to come out the way it's supposed to come. Then once we do that then we can start uh, plotting uh, these values. So let us plot these values on the graph. Remember we said this is the y-axis as can be seen here then again still this which is the x-axis. So we have 0, 0, which is at this point. Then next is basically we have 48 speed in kilometers. Then uh, thinking distance is in 9 meters. So 48, so 48 is just a 2 units below um, 50, somewhere here. Then we move all the way up to 9. 9 is between 10 and 8. So it will be somewhere uh, at this point, which is halfway. Will be at this point. Halfway. Then next is um, 64 comma 12. So 64 comma 12 is see, at the middle there. Then comma 12 we move to 12. Then 64 1 2 3 4. So it's somewhere. It will be somewhere here. Then we move to um, 80 comma 15. So 15 is between uh, 14 and 16. So it will be uh, at the middle here exact at the mid. Then once we do that you can use your ruler. So once you use your ruler you can draw a straight line. You put a ruler there then I join this with a straight line which will uh, look like as uh, somewhere there. Okay so it will be close to this so you need to make sure that you put your ruler properly. Okay so it will be something like that. 
though uh, one part is not uh, necessarily straight but it will be uh, this should be a uh, join like that this should be a perfect straight line but uh, it's a sketch i'm trying to sketch using a free hand then once you do that then you are good to go you have basically the four marks let us move to uh lemma number 2 we are using our graph to determine the thinking distance for the driver at 32 kilometers per hour so these are in kilometers per hour so you come to 32 so 32 is just somewhere there then you come all the way to meet at this point then you can join these lines bring it down to here then there so you notice that this is basically a thinking distance is exactly a 60 seconds so this is a basically 60 seconds so we have 60 meters so thinking uh distance is 60 meters let us look at the question b the driver then drinks two bottles of alcohol after some time is thinking time or z measured as a 1.0 second calculate the thinking distance for the driver when driving at uh, 32 kilometers per hour so basically in this case this is now a drunk driver so this uh, basically graph is not showing us uh, the drunk driver so what we need to do is we need to see what we've been given so what have we been given we've been given the speed okay which is driving at then we've been given the time we know that a speed is equal to a distance over time so distance over time so once you know that basically now time is in seconds and what we are looking for is a basically thinking distance is should be where in um uh, meters so uh basically they are basically uh ways that you can use two ways is either you convert these seconds to hours then a fine distance then that distance is converted back to meters or convert this uh, speed to meters per second then i uh, use the fact that we have the speed then you have time we can find in the distance so basically what we can do is let us convert this uh speed to meters per second so meters per second will be basically now this is in uh, kilometers so how many meters are uh, in one kilometer so in one kilometer we have basically a uh, 1000 meters so this 1000 you multiply it by 32 kilometers to make it in meters which will be 32 uh, thousand meters then over you need to convert this time one hour to uh, seconds because remember the standard units is kilometers per hour or meters per second that's in the standard units so how many minutes are in one hour they are 60 minutes how many seconds are in one minute they are basically 60 so we have that so this can be simplified so we can simplify this by uh, now multiplying expanding so we have 32,000 meters then over 3,600 then this and that cancels these are seconds then this and that cancels then we remain within 320 divided by 36 so into 36 we can divide by 4 we have 9 then uh, 4 into uh, 32 we have uh, basically 8 so 8 times 0 we end up with basically 80 over 9 these are meters per seconds so if you have meters per seconds then we can find distance because remember now what we have this we know it meters per second and we know this uh, uh, time in seconds so to find now distance we just cross multiply so distance will just be equal to uh, basically speed times time so let us uh, use this to answer this question now on the next uh, page we move to a cleaner page let us do this basically so now we know that distance is equal to so what is um, the speed 
so the speed is uh, 8 over 9 so which is 8 over 9 then these are meters per second then we multiply by time so time is in seconds which is one second so what you notice is this second and this second cancels then we remain just with a distance is equal to a basically a 80 over 9 meters which can be simplified as 8.9 uh, 8. Uh, 9 to one decimal place which is meters then this is remember these are given in a uh, nearest or number there are no number so this is basically 90 meters so that's it, the distance so here basically remember here we are a uh, six meters then here we have uh, basically nine meters so after the driver is drunk now the thinking distance increases from six meters to nine meters so question b what was the effect of the alcohol on the thinking distance of the driver so basically what you notice here is uh, for B Loma numero uh, 2 uh, the thinking distance thinking distance increases by uh, 3 meters so uh, how cool increases thinking distance by 3 meters so basically that's the effect so this is how you get uh, these 10 marks on this question Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got uh, so much content. So we've got uh, mathematics uh, based uh, revision questions, we've got uh, physics, we've got uh, chemistry, then we've got also topic based uh, section for all the subjects. And this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.